Hallelujah. 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 You all were louder in 2012 than you are in 2013. Usually it's supposed to be progressive. Here you are going behind. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Not enough. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning dear brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to go into the moments of the adoration. During these moments of the adoration, we are going to share a relationship with Jesus. A belief in the power of our Lord and a belief in the providence of Jesus. Knowing that whatever Jesus does for us, it will be for our good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many a times the Lord cannot work his miracles amongst us is because we people don't trust God enough. We don't trust God to find the best solution for our lives. And that is the reason why many a times the Lord cannot work his miracles amongst us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you have problems in life? Can you raise your hands? Good. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. 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 So you've come here with your problems. How many of you already know in your mind what kind of a solution you want for that problem? Can you raise your hands? Praise the Lord. This is why many times God cannot work in our lives. Because we say that we know the solution. If we know the solution, then might as well do it yourself. And that is how the Lord will say. Many a times we come into the presence of the Lord not only with our problems, but we also come in with a solution. And the moment we do that, we have restricted the plan of God. And that is not how God works. Don't restrict God's freedom in bringing a solution to your problem. Never come into the presence of the Lord with your solutions. Come in with your problems. But many a times we come in with the solution and the problem together. For us it's like a package. And we know exactly what God has to do. And we tell the Lord this is the only thing that you can do. And that's the only thing I will accept. And the moment we do that, we have already restricted the hand of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You come in with your problems to Jesus and then tell the Lord, Lord, whatever solution you find, I will say amen to it. Whatever solution you find, Jesus, I will say amen to it. Maybe when that happens, we might initially not enjoy that solution. But still to know that God knows what's good for us. And then tell the Lord, Lord, I will say Amen to that solution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I remember a lady who was, who was struggling with her child's sickness. And the child was very tiny, but she was struggling a lot with that child's sickness because in her mind, she would always question God and say, Lord, why my child? And such an innocent child, and why is my child getting sick? It had something to do, the child had a problem to do with the blood. And the doctors were saying that this is going to turn fatal, and there is not much of hope. And she would keep praying to the Lord. And telling the Lord, Lord, I want that healing. I want the blood to, to, to get all fine and okay. And she kept on with it. And every time she would go to the doctor, it was only getting worse. And she was upset with God. And one day as she was crying, being upset with God, she saw the Bible in front of her. She opened the Bible. And she got the book of Genesis the incident of Abraham and Isaac. When God said, you offer your son to me 
as a sacrifice and at that moment this woman understood what god wanted and with a very difficult at a very difficult moment she actually looked at god and said lord if it means that my child would get healed with this prayer i say amen to it and lord if it means that my child will pass away i say amen to it and she said the moment she made that statement she found the freedom within herself she found a lot of calmness and peace lord if my child gets healed with my prayer i say amen to it lord if my child passes away even with my prayer lord i say amen to it praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah this is when god's hand is not restricted are you able to say amen to the lord praying and telling jesus lord i want a healing is good it's fine but even at the end of that prayer telling the lord lord if you have some other solution and in that solution healing is not a part of it jesus i say amen to it that is the moment when you have not restricted the freedom of god and you will see the lord work his miracles at those moments praise the lord hallelujah 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 when we come into the presence of the lord we have all come in with our own dreams isn't that true yes or no yes praise the lord hallelujah can you set those dreams aside and let jesus dream for you making your dream or making the lord's dream for you as your own that is the moment when you're really going to see the miracles of jesus many a times we come in with our own dreams set aside your dream and trust in god that he has a better dream for you praise the lord hallelujah abraham was given a son isaac he prayed at the age of 75 god gave him a promise that he would get his son isaac and when did abraham get that son at what age at age 100 at age 100 so for how many years did abraham wait how many 25 long years he waited for the promise to come true and when isaac was born barely was isaac around 6 7 or 8 years old when god told abraham you sacrifice isaac and what did abraham do he didn't question at all rather he takes his son right on top of the mountain and he's all ready to offer the sacrifice of isaac you know what abraham was doing at that time at that moment abraham set aside his dreams for his son and he accepted god's dreams for him and his son and that was a very significant moment in abraham's life he set aside his dream trusting and believing that god's dreams for his family were far better than his own dreams for his family praise the lord are you able to accept that god's dreams for you and your family are far far better than your dreams for you and your family that is the moment when you will see the glory of god praise the lord hallelujah are you ready to say amen to god yes yes praise the lord let me tell you yes is just three alphabets and it's very easy to say it's very easy to say yes but remember what that also means it also means that maybe you will go away from here without getting without getting healed praise the lord hallelujah it might mean that you've come here to pray for some member of your family who is sick and at the end of the retreat your family member might not even be alive are you ready to say amen to god for that praise the lord 
it's not a very easy one praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah dear brothers and sisters it's a very significant moment when you tell amen to the will of god it's a very significant moment when you kill your own dreams and you make god's dream your own praise the lord hallelujah so during these moments of the adoration that is what we are going to do we are going to make god's dreams our own we are going to believe that the dream god has for us and our families is far far better than the dreams that we have for us and our families praise the lord so as we are here we are not going to hold on to our solutions we are going to come in only with our problems keep the solutions out of your mind don't tell jesus what to do don't dictate terms to jesus don't tell jesus what to do let jesus have the freedom to do what he thinks is right hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 can't hear you hallelujah 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 can we all kneel down in his presence as we invite jesus into our midst let us invite the light of this world to step down into our lives maybe there are so many areas in our life that is filled with darkness and confusions and anxieties we're going to ask the light of the world to step down into these so that when his light comes in darkness will be banished with that faith with that belief let us cry out light of the world step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that may this heart adore you hope of a life spent with you and here I am to worship here I am to bow of your life there could be dark areas of sin and weakness to sin that is there within you there could be dark areas of sorrow that is there in your heart there could be dark areas of a lot of physical brokenness there could be a lot of dark areas of financial problems into all these dark areas of your life maybe till today you have been weeping and crying in those dark areas of your life but now let the light step in let the light of jesus step in to that darkness for he will banish that darkness with that faith and that belief you cry out light of the world light of the world you step down into darkness oh 
Open my eyes, let me see beauty that made this heart a joy. Hope of a life spent with you. Raising our hands, let us tell him. And here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say. Let us sing out. And here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely. All together worthy. All together wonderful to Sing Amen to the Lord's will. Let us sing out. to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to Cry out with a lot of faith and tell him, and here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say
to bow down. Dear, I am to say. presence of Jesus so true it is I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross because he has taken up that cross for me I will never have to know the humiliation and the pain of the cross because he has taken it up for me. If he can die on that cross for me, then I can definitely trust him. I know that I can let go of my problems in his hands because he will not harm me. I can trust my God. I can trust my God. Feel the presence of Jesus move amongst you. Joshua, Daniel, Keegan, Noel, the Lord is touching you all. He's blessing you at this moment. Priya, the Lord tells you, my child, Know that I hold you dear to my heart. Do not be afraid. Kumar, the Lord tells you, I have a lot of plans for your good. Give your heart to me. There's a person over here who's been allergic to different creams. You've been allergic to different creams. The Lord is healing you. Someone who's praying for Gayatri. Someone who's praying for Gayatri. The Lord is touching Gayatri. Being aware of this beautiful presence of Jesus, very gently be seated in his presence. 
do not disturb or distract yourself too much just very gently be seated in his presence and keep your eyes focused on the blessed sacrament look at jesus in the blessed sacrament we have come into the presence of the lord whenever we come into the presence of the lord it is important for us to search our hearts and see what lies within how pure or how worthy are we to be here in his holy presence there is no one who is as pure as the lord and we cannot just carelessly come into the presence of the lord within our heart what lies there is there anything that makes me unworthy of being in the presence of the lord ask yourself and be very honest with yourself in front of the lord we need not put a mask about who and what we are within your heart you ask yourself am i worthy to actually be here in the holy presence of jesus within my heart is there sin and filth within my heart do i still hold on to certain sinful actions and addictions question yourself at this moment it's very important to know what lies within your heart many a times we always tell ourselves everything is fine it's okay i don't do much of sin maybe something very small but let us know that we are in the holy and the pure presence of jesus we have to look into our hearts even if there is something very small there which will not be pleasing to the sight of god we have to acknowledge that we've made a mistake especially if you are holding on to the sin of bitterness unforgiveness within our heart are we people who have bitterness and unforgiveness within us in that case we really have to question what kind of a relationship we even share with jesus many of us have uncomfortable feelings towards certain people we don't term it unforgiveness or bitterness but we term it uncomfortable feelings and the fact is these uncomfortable feelings stem from unforgiveness so ask your heart and see at this moment Do you have any kind of bitterness, anger or unforgiveness or uncomfortable feelings towards anyone in your heart? In that case, it is time to let go of it. In that case, it is time to let go of all that bitterness and unforgiveness within us. for if we hold on to that unforgiveness and then come into the presence of Jesus worshiping him the lord has a statement to make to us as he did in matthew chapter 15 verse 8 these people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far away from me these people honor me with their lips but their hearts are far away from me many a times we come into the presence of the lord and we worship him we glorify him we sing his praises 
but within our hearts there is unforgiveness and bitterness hatred and anger the Lord has only one thing to tell us you honor me with your lips but your hearts are far away from me we've come to worship the Lord in that case let us get rid of this bitterness and unforgiveness asking for the grace that Jesus will give us to do it and so at this moment all those who have any kind of hatred anger bitterness or unforgiveness towards anyone or even uncomfortable feelings towards certain people you have this unforgiveness hatred and bitterness towards certain people those people stand up in the presence of the Lord those of you who have any kind of bitterness anger unforgiveness towards anyone very humbly stand in his presence do not think about what people around you are going to say this is between you and your God you just stand you hold your hands close to your heart and you close your eyes don't worry about what people around you are going to say or think about you this is between you and God those of you who have any kind of hatred anger or bitterness towards anyone you stand in his presence there is a person over here who has not talked to have, you have not spoken to one of your uncles you have not spoken to one of your uncles for a few years now the Lord is asking that person to stand in his presence there's a person over here who hasn't spoken to one of your uncles for many years now the Lord is asking that person to stand in his presence reveals this there is a person over here who hasn't even spoken to one of your uncles for many years now the Lord is asking that person to stand in his presence if the Lord reveals something it is because the Lord wants us to get healed of that problem a person over here who was very close to your friend you had a very close friend but the two of you because of a misunderstanding or something that that friend did to you the two of you fell out of of that friendship and after that you've never contacted this person ever and you've held that bitterness in your heart the Lord is telling that person to stand in his presence there was a friend you were very close to and that relationship has broken off now and you've never contacted that person and there's lots of bitterness in your heart the Lord asks you to stand in his presence person here who has a lot of bitterness in your heart towards your own father the Lord is asking that person to stand in his presence a person here who has a lot of bitterness in your heart towards your own father the Lord is asking that person to stand in his presence Jesus for the grace to forgive 
sometimes forgiveness is never it's not easy it's very difficult to forgive the people who have destroyed you the people who have hurt you and at this moment we are going to ask Jesus for that grace to forgive and so once again i ask you if there's anyone here who has any kind of bitterness or unforgiveness in your heart towards anyone you stand in the presence of the lord this is the opportunity jesus is giving you to get rid of that burden of unforgiveness and therefore you humble yourself if there is anyone else who is still struggling with bitterness or unforgiveness you humbly stand in his presence we're going to ask jesus to give us a new heart a heart that can love a heart that can forgive if we are not able to forgive people let us remember we cease to be a true christian because we don't have the heart like that of jesus we ask the lord at this moment to change our heart to give us a heart like that of jesus let us thirst and desire as we tell the lord change my heart o oh lord you pray and you ask jesus to give you the grace to forgive people who have destroyed you and hurt you change my heart o oh lord these people did to me lord the pain within my heart doesn't go the memories of what happened doesn't go and that pain is so deep lord sometimes it's so difficult even when i think of them or i even see them around the place jesus that anger comes up i'm not able to forgive them lord way they hurt me and the way they destroyed my life lord it's not easy to forgive them this heart has been too wounded to even think of forgiveness jesus but i know that it is important that i forgive lord will you give me the grace will you give me the strength will you give me a new heart so that i might forgive change my heart Change my heart oh so difficult because the memories don't leave lord the memories remain and that hurts sometimes i just cannot forgive them because they destroyed my family lord i never caused these people any harm rather 
I love them a lot. But this is what they ended up doing to me, Lord. And I feel so hurt and so bitter because of what they've done. Lord, the way they destroyed my family life, the way they destroyed my reputation, the way they destroyed everything that I had held dear to me. Lord, it's so difficult to let go and forgive them like that. What my heart usually cries out is for revenge. What my heart usually cries out is for their destruction. But Jesus, I know that is not what you want me to do. You're asking me to forgive. I'm not strong, Lord. It's not so easy for me to forget the past. It is not so easy for me to just forgive and forget the past. My heart cannot respond that way, Jesus. I'm struggling. Oh, Jesus, can you change my heart? Can you give me a heart that will love these people? Just as you love them, Lord. Give me a heart to forgive and love them. Change my heart, O oh Lord. Change my heart, O oh Lord. Make it ever new, Jesus. Make it ever new. Change my heart. Change my heart, O oh Lord. May I be like you. my heart change my heart oh Lord make it ever new Jesus make it ever new change my heart change my heart oh Lord may I be like may I be like you Lord Jesus some of these people who hurt me were my own family. They were people I considered my own. My parents, my brothers, my sisters, my husband, my wife, my own child, my own friend that was so dear to me. Lord, these people I believed in and trusted in. But the way they hurt me, Lord, I'm not able to forget. If it were people who were far away from me or were just colleagues or contacts, it was okay. But these people were my own. I cannot believe that they would do something like this to me. Lord, it's so difficult to forget the past. Can you give me the grace to come out of this situation? To forgive them. To forgive them all that they have done to me. Even though they were my own and they betrayed me. Lord, let me love them. Give me a heart to love and forgive. Change my heart, oh Lord. Change my heart, oh Lord. Make it ever new, Jesus. Make it ever new. Change my heart, oh Lord. Change my heart, oh Lord. May I be like you. my heart change my heart oh Lord. make it ever new Jesus make it ever new change my heart oh Lord change my heart oh Lord may I be like you may I be Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hall
praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shabra malaya shiara riya, riya, riya. Shabra shantara riya, riya, riya. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shiara riya, 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 riya. has heard what you have asked for the Lord has heard what you have asked for and now Jesus asks you a question do you believe that I can do this for you you've offered a prayer to Jesus and it's very important that you believe that Jesus can find a solution for that prayer and that is what we read in the Bible as well in the gospel of Matthew we read in Matthew chapter 9 verse 27 onwards we read about two blind men who came to Jesus asking for mercy and healing when Jesus saw them, Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this for you? Do you believe that I'm able to do this for you? And they said to him, Yes, Lord, we believe. And he told them, According to your faith, let it be done to you. According to your faith, let it be done to you. Hallelujah. 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 They not only offered a prayer, but they told Jesus, Lord, we have faith that you will do something. Lord, we have faith that you will do something. That is so important. We also read in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, when Jesus heals a boy, delivers him from an evil spirit. When a father comes to Jesus and asks Jesus to heal his son, Jesus asks him, Do you believe that I can do this for you? And the man says, yes, Lord, I believe. It is so important when you offer that prayer, telling Jesus, Lord, I believe that you can do it for me. That is the moment when Jesus can work his miracles. And so at this moment, I ask you this question. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking you this question. And I want you to give the answer from the depths of your heart. I want you to give this answer with a conviction within your heart. So I ask you at this moment, do you believe that Jesus has the power to find a solution for the prayer that you offered unto him? Say it with conviction. Do you believe that Jesus has the power to find a solution for the problem you've offered unto him yes. do you believe that Jesus can touch and heal you yes. do you believe that the power of the Lord can heal any sickness or ailment that even medical science has given up on yes. do you believe that even your family who are sick maybe members in your family who are sick at home when you believe in faith do you believe that they will get touched and healed yes. hallelujah. 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 hallelujah 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 then the Lord tells you your faith has made you well hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 
let us all stand in his presence as we are going to sing this out our faith we are going to proclaim and declare to jesus at this moment you believe whatever the sickness be on your body these are moments when jesus is going to touch and heal you you believe in the power of the lord as you cry out and tell him jesus i believe in you this is your faith this is your belief and the lord will work on this faith jesus i believe Jesus I believe Jesus I your brother your sister next to you and you pray for each other there should be no one here who prays alone it's important for the scripture says that when two of you agree on something and you pray for it you will receive it it is a promise of the lord and when the lord makes a promise the lord will keep that promise at this moment you believe and you pray for your brother your sister as christians we should not pray alone it is a shame if as a christian you would want to pray alone because that means you are going to always fight the battles of your life all by yourself never pray alone pray with someone there should be no one in this hall who prays alone and at this moment you pray for your brother your sister and ask the lord to touch them there is a prayer intention that is dear to their heart but you do not know about it it doesn't matter as long as you can tell the lord lord i have faith that using my belief you will touch my brother my sister you will heal my brother you will heal my sister it is a very selfless prayer you ask jesus to touch and heal your brother your sister as you tell the lord jesus i believe jesus i Jesus I believe Jesus I believe Jesus I believe I believe in you Jesus I believe Jesus I believe Jesus I believe Jesus I sister get healed at this moment you will feel power flowing from your hands into your brother your sister they will get touched and healed in the name and authority of jesus because you prayed selflessly for them there are six people who are jobless the lord is blessing you with a gift of a new job hallelujah 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 there are three people here who had blocks for your marriage nothing was working out there were blocks for your marriage the lord is making it possible for you to get married hallelujah 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 a person over here who has been having a problem on the left side of your neck running down to your shoulders the left side of your neck running down to your shoulders the lord is healing you at this moment hallelujah 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 
person who has been having a problem with your eye the lord is healing the pain on your eye the lord is healing Ashrita Ashrita the lord is touching and blessing Hallelujah 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 the right shoulder the lord is healing Hallelujah 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 Maxim Maxim the lord is blessing Jane the lord is blessing Hallelujah 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 Jesus Hallelujah There's a person who has been having a problem with your finger. The Lord is touching and healing. Praise you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. people here who have been having a problem of headaches acute migraines for many years there were two of you who even came to the hall with a terrible headache the lord is healing you all many of you with shoulder problems the lord is healing you the people who are breathless you get breathless very soon the lord is healing you turn towards your brother your sister whose hands you are holding and draw the sign of the cross on their forehead draw the sign of the cross on the forehead of your brother your sister who is there next to you and let us all kneel in his presence as we receive the blessing of the lord you look at jesus and you ask never be afraid to ask things from Jesus at this moment you ask him as the lord blesses you you ask him for whatever is your heart's desire sometimes we think too much is it right or is it wrong what i'm asking you just ask leave unto Jesus the decision to give it to you or no if it is right for you or no that is Jesus's choice but you ask have that freedom as a child of god to ask him as he blesses you amen Thank you. 